The new COVID variant Omicron is a variant of concern at the moment, some signs describing it to be the worst yet. It was first seen in November 11, 2021 in Botswana, and then a few days later in Hong Kong. November 26, Israel, Singapore, and Belgium reported cases. Now, the Belgium case is not related to travel to South Africa. She was traveling to Egypt via Turkey. There has been an exponential rise in new cases in South Africa over the past two weeks, and this is the latest update from Amsterdam. I'm here to tell you why is it of concern and what we can do to help. Welcome, I'm Dr. Zaris Khan. So there are three questions. One question is answered, and that is transmissibility. What we know for sure is that it is highly contagious. Now, to give you an idea, the Delta variant was 70% more transmissible than the original virus and 40% more than the Alpha. This new variant is 500% more transmissible. Second, will it cause more severe symptoms? Now, scientists are speculating that there is a possibility that it could be more severe, but we don't know for sure. The next few days, we'll get more information regarding hospitalizations. Now, the third question is if it is an immune escape variant. It's too early to tell. Yes, the Hong Kong cases were fully Pfizer vaccinated in May and June this year, but we don't know how sick they are. And um, remember, we had these speculations when the Delta variant emerged, but we have definitive data regarding the Delta variant that COVID vaccination uh, definitely prevents hospitalizations and deaths. Now, viruses mutate all the time. That is, they change their structure to adapt. This COVID-19 virus remained kind of static around for like 11 months. I mean, there were mutations, um, you know, around April 2020, but not concerning. But it wasn't until November or December of 2020 when we started seeing changes um, of concern. Now, the concern here is mutations that lead to fitness advantage with increased uh, pathogenicity as well as altered immune response. Now, Omicron has multiple mutations. Compared to Delta, where we saw like nine mutations on the spike protein, we have 32 mutations that we can see on the spike protein. Now, what is a spike protein? The coronavirus has like four structural, uh, 16 non-structural, as well as eight accessory proteins. Now, the four structural proteins are the S, spike protein, um, M for membrane, E for envelope, and N for nucleocapsid. Now the S protein or the spike protein plays a very important role in viral entry as well as the viral RNA release into the host cell. And the current vaccines target this protein uh, to induce antibodies. Now we know when we get infected with the COVID or when we get immunization like vaccination, we develop antibodies, the good antibodies which protect us against the virus. 90% of these neutralizing antibodies target the RBD or the receptor binding domain of the spike protein. So if there are mutations to this protein, then the antibodies won't work well. What we're seeing right now are mutations multiple mutations in the RBD, also the NTD, that is the uh, N-terminal domain, and that is leading to uh, resistance uh, to the neutralizing antibodies as well as the therapeutic monoclonal antibodies. Of note, P681R is kind of like bad news because this is the mutation which is responsible for Delta spreading like wildfire. So the good news is that the current PCR testing that we have, they are sensitive against this variant. Also, the current vaccines may still be like very well effective. I mean, there's so much we don't know. And they can be easily tailored also according to these variants. Now, what you can do is, number one, get vaccinated. Secondly, restrict travel. Yes, folks, act now. Remember when we had heard Delta is somewhere, but it had already arrived here because we travel. So if possible, avoid traveling. And ideally, there should be quarantine right after entry into a country. Now, the Hong Kong case was PCR negative before traveling. So PCR test being negative doesn't guarantee that you cannot infect. Social distancing may not be enough. This is your friend. It protects you and other people. 
It protects not just against COVID virus, but other respiratory infections as well. Wonder why we didn't see influenza last year or this year? It helps. Stay safe. Thank you for watching.